YouTube. Okay. You see how sweaty I am? I just, I'm over here in Georgia. It's hot as heck. I just got unloaded. Um, I want to tell you how my Labor Day weekend went. I got stuck in Florida um, because there was a huge accident on the 75. And um, it was a fatality. Two trucks and a car. Somebody pet died. So I got stuck in traffic for like six hours because I was less than a mile away. So traffic went to a dead stop and we kind of got stuck there for hours. So I ended up missing my shipper, which left me there for the weekend because I was trying to get in Florida and get back out <laughs> before, the, before the weekend. So I ended up having to uh, you know, get a hotel and um, while I was there, uh, I asked, you know, I called and asked, you know, um, the uh, hotel I was staying at, you know, if they had truck parking. And they said, yeah. And so when I got there, you know, she directed me to where she wanted me to park the truck, which was close to the front. It was like a long section, you know, maybe like 20 parking spaces. She told me to park it there. So I park it there. I come back Tuesday to the truck. Now, mind you, this was Friday. I come back Tuesday to my truck and I knew I saw a car parked because it was like, it was weird. It was one car parked like right in the little slot that I left so that I can get back out. And I'm going, I'm like, it sat there like all those days. No mind, all, I'm all the way in the front. The hotel's all the way in the back. And this one car just stayed parked right in front of my truck pretty much for the whole weekend. It left, uh, Monday, Monday evening, and I left Tuesday morning. And um, when I get to my truck, I see somebody left um, a cup of coffee, two muffins that they give you at the breakfast, and then they took some hot chocolate powder, and they sprinkled it all on my stairs. <laughs> on both sides. So I I start my work week off my work week off with an ant infestation in my whole cab. I came in, they were everywhere. These little bitty tiny ants. Everywhere. Everywhere. I was so hot. Oh my God. Yesterday that's if I if I had posted this video yesterday, you would have seen a whole different side. I was fuming. I didn't I had one of those little hand vacs. I had to throw it away because it was so many darn ants. The ants had started jamming up into the motor part. It was it was it was horrible. Um, I went back to the hotel. I told them what happened, and honestly, I think it was one of the hotel members because they ended up giving me a day off of my bill, and they gave me some cleaning supplies, some cleaning, you know, spray, and some towels to come and like try to like evacuate as much as I could. So I spent the first two hours of my work day trying to remove ants out of the truck so that I could drive. And then I spent pretty much the whole day vacuuming up ants and spraying and cleaning because I still had my load on me. So I had to get it down to, you know, the receiver. So while I was getting unloaded, I was cleaning up some more, cleaning it out some more, killing ants and vacuuming and dumping it out and coming back and vacuuming it some more. <sighs> there were so many ants, they broke my vacuum. They they jammed it up. I don't even know how they did it. It just won't even work anymore. And so um, I had to call my um, dispatcher who got mad at me. I'm like, how you gonna get mad at me? He didn't even let me get the words out. He was trying to give me a load that was like, 1400 miles away and I told him give me something a little bit shorter because I already knew I was going to be having to keep stopping cleaning it up until I can get like a real bomb and you know fumigate this whole space and then I knew I wasn't going to be able to sleep in the van in the, in, the, in the sleeper because it was just crazy but he went off I don't know he was having a bad day so that really had me spiraling and uh my attitude went, you know, F you, F this, F everything. And I just was just driving. I don't know. I drove like 400 miles. Don't know where I was going. I, I went to a couple of Walmarts. Couldn't find any um, ant bombs. Um, 
So then uh, somebody told me to go to a tractor supply place, which I did, and I and he gave me something. Uh, it was like a bomb, but it wasn't. It was kind of small, and you pop the top off, and you know you gotta have it the whole area confined for like eight hours, and you have to air it out for four. And so I did that. I, I uh, did that when I stopped my day. I went to a hotel, stopped my day. I had just left everything on the truck. I just bombed. And then uh, after eight hours, I got up real early. And I went and I just started just pulling stuff off the truck. You know, my bedding, my clothes. And then I went and I washed them. Um, and, yeah, the whole, it was just dead ants everywhere. Just little, little bitty. They, real, they were real tiny. They were like little bitty, little bitty brown ants. Uh, somebody said they might have been red ants, but they weren't black because in, in Illinois, you know, we have black ants. That's all we see. Big old huge black ants or regular sized black ants, but these are like like little pieces of dust. Just, I don't know. But uh, it was crazy. It was just crazy yesterday. So that is how my work week started. So this is the day after. My uh, truck smells like um, whatever this cleaner cleans, cleanser this lady gave me. Because that's what I've been doing um, today. I had to wipe everything down because of the fog. He just said, make sure you wipe everything down. So I came in and wiped everything down You know, with uh, the hotel uh, that I was staying at. I used their towels and just wiped everything down and Clorox wipes and wiped everything down again. Washed all my clothes, washed all my bedding. Uh, threw out, I had to throw out all my snacks. I did learn one thing, get a band. Get a bin for the snacks. Yeah, because, I mean, they weren't even open. Like, stuff like uh, wine candy were the originals. That's individually wrapped. They were still in there. They were, man, they were like a thousand deep in the bags. I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, I just tossed. I just picked up my whole bag. And I just, all ants and all tied them up, threw it away. Because <laughs> I didn't want to decipher. I didn't want to go through it. So, I did learn. Now, snacks, probably want to put them in a syllable, like a little storage bag you know just in case something like this happened I, I mean it's never happened to me ever before you know like where ants just get into your cab but you know this one was provoked they evoked <laughs> the ants to come in which i think is just that was just so mean i couldn't get out of florida fast enough i swear to god i couldn't i didn't, I didn't want to do nothing else i just dropped off and i just needed to get up out of florida because i was just so angry so i'm in georgia right now getting loaded again uh and everything and right now I'm in a happy mood uh, so far so good I haven't seen anything every because usually yesterday every time when I thought I had it under control and then I stopped like when you're moving you don't really see them but when you stop it's like the heat they start running all over the place again so like you know when you uh, when you open your door you just see them all in the door oh, oh it was I was like you know doing this fighting off imaginary ants all all down the road i yesterday was just not a good day so yeah people can be cruel sometimes those are some of the down downfalls um you know when people just sabotage you for no reason i, I still don't understand why they sabotage me you know i i got permission they told me where to park and i'm like who are you to sit up here and sabotage me well, I'm 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 a guest here. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, that was my weekend <laughs> and everything. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.